Hello, uh, thank you for watching my how-to video. Today I'm going to talk about Microsoft Movie Maker and Microsoft Office 365, their software as a service. If you're going to make a movie, the first thing you're going to need is a camera and audio. Uh, today I'm going to be using the Logitech C920. You can obtain this from Best Buy for about $79. It has uh, the specs on it, our full uh, high-def 1080p uh, video recording, uh, 15 megapixel uh, camera, Carl Zeiss lens, a 20-step autofocus, and a stereo audio with dual microphones. Uh, pretty good camera. I do have it stabilized on a tripod. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is the movies. The next thing we're going to need to do on the movie is get the software. And fortunately, it's free. And it's from uh, Microsoft. All you need to do is Google uh, Microsoft Movie Maker, and you'll come to the site. They have uh, an explanation of about the, the software here. You can play that video. And then they have a download. All you do is click on the download, just like any other download. Uh, let it stream to your computer, and then execute the program. Uh, once you have the program, uh, you can go ahead and open it. I have put together a short video uh, on my cat for nothing else. Um, and we'll look at that a little bit. But most importantly is the way the software is set up. It's very similar to Microsoft Office. In this case, it does have a ribbon across the top with uh, subgroups, home, animation, visual effects, project view, uh, edit, uh, some options for music tools, video tools, and text tools, and formatting. Uh, in this case, what you, the first thing you'll do is you'd go to the video, add video and photos, and then you'd search through uh, the area that you'd like to get your uh, video from. And then you'd simply uh, click on it, and it would populate it in here. If you'd like to add another one, you simply do that again. You can mix and match video as well as pictures. And then to move it around, you simply click and drag and uh, you can move the or order of the pictures that way. Once you have the order the way you'd like it, there's a few things you can do. One of which is you can add music, and there are some pre-populated uh, audio sites, uh, some of which are free, and by doing that, uh, you can simply import into your computer the free audio that you'd like. In this case, I had a song, uh, Chicken Fried by Zach Brown, um, and uh, added that as the audio. The uh, next thing you can do is you can uh, add a little professionalism to it, it or play around with it if you'd like by using some of the different uh, themes they have up here. And they uh, change the, uh, the look of the pictures as far as uh, how they are. You can also record narration over it um, by holding your um, holding your cursor over the different uh, areas you can see how it would look um, in different uh, in the preview pane here and um, that's obviously not a very attractive look sometimes uh, less is better and so we'll go back to the way it was before um, the preview pane can be expanded when you do that there is a chance that you'll get a little so if you're using the uh, the preview pane and you notice some jerkiness, chances are it's related to your computer's processing ability. Uh, one of the things we can do is take a look at this computer. It has a 4.6 Windows experience, not the highest. It does have an Intel uh, quad core, but it's an older one at a slower speed. It does have 8 gigs of RAM, uh, some of the older RAM. Uh, and it has a low-end uh, graphics card. So not the fastest computer, but certainly not the slowest either. Um, certainly upgrading the graphics card probably would take care of that. Uh, once you're done with the uh, putting the movie together the way you'd like it, you can upload it to YouTube very simply by clicking on the YouTube icon. Uh, of course, you'll need to have a YouTube account. Uh, go on to YouTube ahead of time and click that um, go through the, the account opening process and then click on this button and you'll be uploaded to that. As far as the Microsoft Office 365, very similar. Uh, this is a, a subscription service. Here you'll see they've got three different choices. The offline, uh, the Office 365 University, and the Office 365 Home Premium. Uh, for $9.99 you can start your uh, monthly um, package with Office 365. It lets you have five PCs or Macs. It works on smartphones. Um, has online versions of Office, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. 
uh, offline storage is fine as well as some online storage with seven gigabytes of free online storage it also provides for Skype so the um, Office 365 is a pretty unique uh, a way of uh, purchasing your software. Probably the nice thing is the upgrades are automatic so you don't have to buy new software every time you want to um, upgrade and you don't have to worry about the packages that are available. Simply purchase the subscription and it automatically updates. You're always using the most recent software. And that concludes the Microsoft Movie Maker review as well as the Office 365 how-to video. Thank you.